Big development in the battle against COVID. Yeah, this afternoon, the FDA approved Pfizer's pill to treat the virus. It's the first pill approved specifically for the coronavirus. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino has been asking the experts about what this all means. And Mike, when can people actually get the pill? Well, that's something that public officials will still need to work out. Those details will be coming, especially since supply is likely to be limited at first. But the doctors that I talk with agree that this is a huge step towards keeping people out of the hospital. This is a really exciting day. Doctors are celebrating after the Food and Drug Administration approved Pfizer's COVID-19 pill, Paxlovid. The pill is meant to reduce the risk that COVID patients end up in the hospital, but is it effective? Pfizer is telling us that their um, Paxlovid is 89% effective at reducing um, the risk for hospitalization. We already have approved treatments for the coronavirus, including remdesivir and monoclonal antibodies. So why is this new pill so significant? The stress on the hospital system will be lessened and we would be able to manage this disease uh, in outpatient setting. Approval comes as hospitalizations are once again on the rise. Hartford healthcare officials say that they have capacity, but anything that keeps people out of the hospital altogether is a good thing. So how does this Pfizer pill work? So of course now the question becomes, when will we get it? How will we use it? Doctors are waiting on more information from Pfizer. They also need to work with the state on distribution, especially since supply will be limited at first. The FDA approval is only for patients 12 and older who have a higher risk of hospitalization. One thing doctors do know, time is essential. So really, ideally, you want to treat people within the first three days of symptom onset. A Merck pill is also waiting for approval. So do these pills mean that we can relax on public health guidelines? We are still pushing masking. We are still pushing social distancing. We are still pushing not engaging in risky social behaviors. And we are pushing vaccinations as well as boosters at this point. Now, again, this pill needs to be taken in the first few days of infection, which means that testing is important. But we know tests are hard to come by right now. So coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, I'll tell you what hospitals are doing to address that problem. Live from the answer desk, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.